So he earned his title by holding the world record for fastest 30 meter on a scooter at 20.77 seconds. That's pretty crazy. And he's standing up like he's got his paws on the handles like a human. And he's yeah. pushing it. That's just crazy. He looks floofy. That's just so crazy. I find that impressive when they teach them to use like scooters and stuff like that. And even the bulldogs like on the skateboards, I find pretty impressive. Especially when they <laughs> yeah. push. Imagine taking your dog on a walk and your dog's on a scooter. (laughs) A two let's boop snoots. My name is Heidi. My name is Vero. And today. (laughs) And today. (laughs) Today. Today. (laughs) We are going to. Whatever. Guess what we're talking about. Dogs. dogs we're talking about dogs. <laughs> dogs, dogs, dogs 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 all dogs. kinds of dogs i i feel like i always start off the episode with like little random little stories and i am gonna talk about a couple of little random little stories Do it. first of all the last episode that we did we talked about car safety and ever since then i don't know if it's that i was more on alert or i don't know if it's that it just was coincidence but i saw several dogs in vehicles this weekend in grocery stores Mm. at like the mall around and it just made me so mad why why are you bringing your dog to the grocery store did you poop some windows (laughs) i i felt like it but my (laughs) husband told me not to and one of them one of the days it wasn't so hot and the windows were down like half of the way down but this was a little little yapper room yeah it was all small dogs by the way and he was yap, yap, yapping. And I was like, I hear you, buddy. You shouldn't be in there. You shouldn't be here at all. Mm-hmm. And I said that really loudly. And people walking around me probably thought I was crazy. But what can I say? Maybe they were <laughs> agreeing they with were. you. Nobody said anything to me. But I was mm-hmm. like, poor doggy. I'm like, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. And the other thing that Vero and I were just chatting about was just talking about like how little things can change your dog's behavior (laughs) so as we were beginning to record the episode you could hear my dogs barking away and it's because we've made a decision as a family to try not to run the air conditioning as much to be a more (laughs) the air conditioning conditioning. (laughs) Er, buddy got their air conditioning going (laughs) except for uh, this family (laughs) right here um to try to be a little bit more environmentally conscious but leaving the windows open Ooh. has made my dogs barkier and i think <laughs> and i think it's because they can hear everything <laughs> <laughs> they don't got the nice hum of the ur conditioning going anymore now they hear the dog yeah. across the street they hear the people having a conversation walking right. to the park they hear like a weird a car door they're closed like, hey, hey, and they're like hey, what is somebody hey. home what 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 <laughs> crazy dogs speaking of hearing your dogs <laughs> do things <laughs> while we were talking before the episode yeah <laughs> i was hearing some like crunching and munching so for a couple of minutes there, I thought it was Ralph eating his bone. But then I thought, mm, I better go look. And, <laughs> and Ralph was eating the baseboard. Devil. <laughs> that blonde haired <laughs> devil. <laughs> Ralph has entered the teenager phase and is driving me crazy. All I'm saying is, Ralph, no. Ralph, off. Ralph, stop. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. No, 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 no. So we had Mochi mm-hmm. over. Ralph's cream puff, poofy cousin. cloud, white yes. floof cousin. <laughs> and so when Ralph was a puppy, he had eaten the baseboard like just a tiny bit. Like the little corner was taken off. And Mochi discovered that. And I guess she was kind of like munching on it gently. And Ralph was like, mm, let me do that too. But like the difference between Ralph munching on the baseboard and Mochi munching on the baseboard is very different. Mochi's like this delicate little. Yes. Little, little diva. Floofy. Little diva poof. Little yep. flower. Yeah. 
and well, Ralph yeah. is like, ah, nom, well, Ralph nom, is just nom, like, nom, 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 see, nom. and this is where I wonder if maybe we could boop or snoot some products. Cause I don't know if you've ever tried them or not, but like uh, what I said to Vero right away was I was like, put some hot sauce on it, but who wants to like throw hot sauce on their wall? Yeah. Do you hear my dogs? Do you hear my dogs barking? Everybody? Gibbon was just really... <laughs> I tried the bitter spray. No, that like this is work. this is what I've heard. Like over the years, no. I'm trying to remember what people like because there's like wires. People put them on wires or baseboards or anything that your dog's chewing that they're not supposed to. But I have never heard of a product that that actually works. I wonder if hmm. Maybe yeah, we'll I don't try know if it's Tabasco. Tabasco, but then it's like, are you hurting your dog or, or are they going to like it even more? And then yeah. now you're cleaning up the Reha, the brown laser, as well as. You're munched on baseboards. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I think I just need to replace it and that it doesn't look like it's munched on. And you then he so? won't munch on it. Because he's not munching on any wow, other that ones. That's true. I think yeah. it's because it's started and it's fun, right? It's like, it's like if, that. If wood anybody's that's picking like... up on some background noise, wow. it's my windows open greenhouse over here. <laughs> Just heard some geese <laughs> flying by. You're going to hear some borkins <laughs> from a years truly, bork, a bork. Becky and Gibbs. A little concert, a little <laughs> concerto in Bork Minor. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes. So, yes. And he's been jumping yes. on the couch. Sometimes, like, do other dogs show them, like, a bad behavior, and then you're like, you correcting yeah like mochi mochi would get up on the coffee table and i was like don't don't show around yeah. how to do that <laughs> yeah oh yeah. Mochi. mochi no mochi no no mochi mochi no <laughs> mochi mochi no mochi moch. <laughs> no tucci oh poor mochi <laughs> poor Rev. but we did go for a walk a long walk and, and, we asked, and what nicely. did you have on him i had the gentle leader Mm -hmm. starting to get used to it and i had the slip lead oh mm -hmm. slip lead the combo yeah for when yeah so that when he stops then you can if pull. he does stop yeah yeah noise and then this guy stopped me because mm -hmm. ralph saw something in the grass so he stopped and wanted to go see what was in the grass and i wasn't letting him so he just kind of like mm -hmm. lied down and then he kind of like waits <laughs> and then he goes for it <laughs> <laughs> so I was just kind of like putting pressure on the slip lead and I saw the guy looking at what I was doing and then we started walking again and the guy was like excuse me he's like what does it mean when your dog just kind of like sits and just doesn't want to move mm -hmm. like like he was doing and I was like <laughs> like well he saw something in the grass and he really wanted to get to it so he was sitting because he didn't want to yeah. move past it and he was waiting for me to like not pay attention and then like go for it. Um, and then so I explained him like the gentle leader and the mm -hmm. slip lead because I was, you could probably see me like kind of mm -hmm. putting some pressure mm -hmm. with the slip lead. So I explained to him what that was for. But then I, I told him, I'm like, he also has a gentle leader on and I think he sits sometimes yeah. and like protests. And what did this guy say? <laughs> did this guy have a so, dog? He, he thought it was funny. No, he's like, he, he's oh. looking to get a dog. So I'm like, well, you should listen to my podcast. <laughs> Let's boop snoo. It's a strange guy on the side of the street. Yeah. So he asked me what is, and I'm like, let's boop snoo. <laughs> so maybe we, if he listens, we really he's should hear get me cards made. Him. Hi, guy on get, the street. Or maybe, oh, do you want know what we should do? I wonder if you can custom make poo bags and hand out poo bags to people. Let, <laughs> let's boop poops. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> let's boop snoots poop eggs <laughs> Ooh, that's a good it's idea. not a show unless i come up with a product for us to market <laughs> hmm. i love when people like ask you questions about your dog it doesn't happen to me very often yeah. probably because i'm going to like doggo places where people are already doing stuff with their dog and are dog knowledgeable people and there's like a yeah. lot of dogs in my neighborhood like a lot of dogs a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. I'm in the dog yeah, game. me too. But then you know when you're walking with your dog and you're passing somebody and they look yes. at your dog and smile. So when I when I walk past somebody 
and they don't look and they don't smile. I'm like, <laughs> I know. why? I know. I know. Why? Or like if I go to the dog park, I Did know. Did you not see it's Ralph? Like, if I have a <laughs> dog park visit him? where not one person tells me how beautiful Gibbon is, <laughs> I'm like, why? Did you not see how beautiful he was? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to, actually, we went to the dog park the other day, and I ran into a lady who had a Weimaraner and a Vishla, and her Vishla was huge, Ooh. like it was a big doggo, like it's the <gasps> one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. And I was like, "Oh my God, where did you get your dog? He's so big!" And she's she was like, "Oh, like he's your average size." I'm like, "Well, your Weimaraner is even bigger than my than mine too." She's like, "Oh, where's yours?" And my husband had gone down a different path or whatever, so I started calling the dog my dog over, and he came over. She's like, oh, he's gorgeous. I was like, I oh, know. <laughs> I, like, I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so are yours. And we had a quick little <laughs> Vishla Weimarana talk. But when people say your dog is gorgeous, do. do you say thank you? I say thank you. You do? I say thank you too, but then I'm like, I didn't make that. <laughs> I, I think it's more like for your taste. But at the same time, you don't know what they're going to look like yeah. when they're pole bangs. <laughs> That's what, I right? Know. This is what I'm nervous about, about getting another Weimaraner, because some of them look weird. <laughs> Am I going to get a weirdo Weimaraner? <laughs> Should I name them weirdo, just in case? Weirdo. Weirdo wine? Weird, <laughs> weird, weird, weird <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. That is funny. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on yeah, with Ralph right now. that can right be now. annoying. So, yeah. Ralph it's, driving me nuts. He's driving me nuts. When is this over? When is this phase over? I want to go back to the biting. It shouldn't be too. It should, it should, I want to go back to the biting. <laughs> this bites worse. <laughs> it is. It's. I can remember where thinking to myself and I can't remember how long it even lasted with us. And like, so I honestly don't know. And maybe it's like I think, I think it's, it's a few months. One of those things that you erase from your memory because you're just like, I love my dog. He's the best. But I can remember being like with <laughs> Gibbs, like, why are you not listening to me? And yeah, and why are you being a devil dog? Like, you know better than this. I taught, I know because you did it and I taught you and you did it so many times in a row. Mm -hmm. Why are you being a jerk? Yep. Yeah. He'll come back. You got to keep repetitiveness, <gasps> keep it up. Yeah, you Cold gotta be consistent. Stunt. Even when you wanna scratch your eyes out and pull your hair out and, and go back to biting. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little Ralph Aroni. <laughs> Poor. <laughs> Poor little no. Ralph Aroni. I don't no. feel bad for no. Ralph Aroni. He's made he's made his not choice. one bit. Mm hmm So one thing that I have for this episode today that I decided to look up just for fun, for some Let's boot poops and giggles. <laughs> um, was uh, Guinness World Records for dogs or different world records for dogs. So I have some like Whoa. actual like Guinness. Well, they're actually, I think most of these sites are actual Guinness World Records, but there's like some weird ones and then ones that you commonly think like, oh yeah, okay. So for instance, on the first page, mm. there is the first one. It says the largest dog litter. So a Neapolitan Mastiff <laughs> named Abella Tino Arabella, her late name is Tia, gave birth to an astounding 24 puppies on the same day. That's a lot oh of freaking puppies. Holy crap. 24 puppies. That's, oh, yeah. that's pretty insane. They're pretty they're I know. big puppies. That doesn't even make sense. And they were born by cesarean section. Unfortunately, one was stillborn and three died within the first week. Okay. So are they counting those two? But still, that's a lot of puppies. Still. I was going to say, they can't all be living because that's just too many puppies. That's just too many puppies. That's crazy. Um, I can't help. 15 males do you, and Do you remember females. how many puppies were in Ralph's litter? I think it was 10. Yeah, and I think it was 11 or 12 in Gibbons. And even that yeah. I found pretty shocking. I did not think that there would be that many puppies. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Wiggum it was 11. It's a lot of puppies. It's a lot of puppies. Like, yeah. they're not big creatures, these things. Like, I mean, no. in terms of dogs, maybe they are. But, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, if you put all the puppies together. Yes. 
Well, they're because they're like, like little rats when they're born. They are. They're pretty tiny, but still yeah, twenty-four. Patats. That's a lot of pop. Little <laughs> Yukon gold. <laughs> Yukon gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay so the next one i have here is longest ears on a dog ever and of course it's a bloodhound and it's Ooh. funny because i have a bloodhound that lives up the street named ivy she's very sweet i love miss ivy oh. and um this dog here was a dog named tigger and he snagged the record for the longest ears on a dog and his right and left ears measured at 13.75 inches and 13.5 inch inches respectively it's pretty Whoa. crazy. They're in the States. They're from Illinois. I bet you he's a hunting dog. Tigger. <laughs> but his ears are yeah. um, like the basset. I, I already find their ears to be like extraordinarily long. And I love me some floppies. Yeah. So I love me some flop. Long. Can you imagine? That would be like a throw on the couch. You could snuggle and <laughs> have an <laughs> ear blanket, a dog ear blanket. <laughs> and the ears are so soft. They're like the best part. Wow. So I thought that they was pretty. They are soft. And it, oh, it looks like he was um he was no stranger to fame. Tigger won numerous show titles and more than 180 best of breed awards. So show dog. But Aww. see if his ears are that. F- long like guinness book of world record long you would think that like would that be standard to his breed and maybe like i don't know maybe he didn't win maybe he just competed maybe they were like Mm-mm, he is too long take this freak show to the guinness book of world records <laughs> <laughs> there's so many pictures I know. of hounds with their ears i know up. it it's is so funny oh <gasps> I, I try to put even Gibbons like. ears in an elastic sometimes. I try to give him a man bun. <laughs> it doesn't uh, last for very long. Nope. Nope. No. He does the flappy, 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 flappy. <laughs> yeah. I've done that with Ralph, too. With one of my scrunchies, I put his ears together. But it does not. doesn't last long. It is pretty cute. It's pretty cute, though. I can't even get a man bun on my kids. They're going through the whole long hair phase right now, and they won't even, it doesn't even last on them for, <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get a pick once, and it's, it was a no-go, an outstanding no. Aww. All right, the next one I got on my list here is Longest Tail on a Dog, and this is a Keon, mm-hmm. an Irish wolfhound, which makes sense, because they're big, big dogs. Oh. And yeah. Keon's tail was 30.2 inches, which is crazy. Yeah. That's like, it's oh like. Oh my God, I can see it. It's like, I can how see could it. you not? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, that's like a two and a half footer. At least. I know. That's crazy. No, it is more that's than more that. Than sorry, that. I'm thinking inches. That's way more than that. It's, it's like, like multiple feet. Sorry, I was getting American and Canadian measurement mix up how long is 30.2 inches so that would be like oh so that's that would be five no, I feet think you're right no you're right no, it's, it's two not and two and a half, half feet because that's not very long because one foot is oh 12, 12 inches, inches. So you are right see six. i was right why am i getting all mixed up i can't <laughs> math today everybody i thought you said no. 34 so it is yeah it's two and a half feet but that's pretty long for a tail that's, that's like two, pretty long. like yeah, su- that's two subway footlongs, <laughs> and mo- plus more. <laughs> um, the I Irish wolfhound, really? Yeah, yeah. It, I find it looks like a giant version of the dog from Annie, kind of. But I don't like the the. I, I like a softer I dog, know. and I don't know. I don't like those dogs. Although I find, I don't think I would have. I don't think I would get one. But I, when I yeah. see one, I'm like, oh, see, I'm like wow. that with Danes and like Bernards <laughs> and St. Bernards and all those. I'm mm. like, oh, mm, St. Bernards, which is, oh, my God, you're going to laugh so hard, which brings us to our next Guinness Book of World Records contestant. And uh, this is Mochi, <laughs> the St. Bernard. With the longest tongue on a dog. And I feel like we've been here before. Have we talked about this dog? Yeah, we have. I don't know if we talked about Mochi, but we talked about Saint 
there was something I remember like going on and on Saint and Philip or something yeah, like that. I remember that going on, on and on and on about like a tongue, a dog tongue, and laughing forever on the show to the point where it was awkward. <laughs> People are probably going to fast forward through that part. <laughs> uh, female St. Bernard Mochi's claim to fame is her extra long <laughs> tongue, which measured at 7.3 inches. So that's a foot. That's oh over God. a foot. That's crazy. No, it's not over seven, a foot. Why seven do, inches. Why do, why do you keep messing this up? It's half a foot. It's over half a foot, folks. <laughs> why do I keep messing this up? Oh, thank God this isn't a math podcast because uh <laughs> fail fail all right the next one is a wee little what is it a beagle a female beagle named purin and this was on one of the other websites that i found too so maybe we are getting into some of the stranger ones but most balls caught by a dog with the paws in one minute like <laughs> how is this even a like could oh. there not be like a guinness book of world record for like every action there is like most balls caught with a dog by paws in one minute like that's crazy that's so random <laughs> it's yeah exactly mouth? i'm sure there is one by mouth too <laughs> the, the next one's also very strange yeah. but anyways the record is 14 balls <laughs> in does it say here uh 14 in one minute oh yeah in one minute's time in one minute one 14 minute. balls the picture's pretty Here's cute here in she does catch it like pretty cutely with mm -hmm. both of her paws. It's very, very cute. All right. The next one on here. <laughs> he looks hilarious. Oh, his name is Hagrid and he definitely looks like a Hagrid for all the Harry Potter fans out there. This dog, if there was ever a dog to be named Hagrid, it should be this one. And I'm glad that it is. Um, most consecutive items caught by a dog <laughs> goes to Hagrid of the United Kingdom. <laughs> Hagrid, the dog, the dog's attempt to break the record for most items caught in a row by a dog was filmed for CBBC September 6, 2018. The UK-based pooch succeeded, catching nine consecutive mini sausages. Like, in his mouth to eat? Like, ow, ow, ow. That's Only crazy. Nine? I feel like I need to enter <laughs> Becky or Gibbon into Guinness Book of World Record for most pieces of popcorn caught in <laughs> one minute. <laughs> Yeah. Because they're pretty good. Is that a Tibetan Mastiff? I can't tell what it is. I don't think it's a Tibetan Mastiff. Like, it almost looks like... Maybe Leon it's... Burger. It's very Leon Burgery, St. Bernardy, Shepherdy. Maybe it's a Leon Burger. You're right. Maybe it is. It doesn't, and it doesn't say. Maybe, maybe it's just... Maybe Hagrid's just a mutt. Maybe he's a muggle. <laughs> Maybe a muggle mutt. <laughs> muggle. All right, do you see this next one here? Shortest dog living. Three point. So it's it's standing. Shortest so this is Millie, and Millie is a Chihuahua, a female Chihuahua, and Millie is three point eight inches. That's like three feet. I'm just joking. No way. <laughs> three point eight. <laughs> Inches, and there's a picture of Millie next to a high top sneaker, and Millie does not go beyond the height of the sneaker. So Millie's pretty tiny. She pretty tiny pooch. Oh, wow. Nope. Is she nope. white? She brown. Like, she brown and tan. Brown Is she from tan. Puerto Rico? Millie. She had mm. to be fed with an eyedropper when she was born. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. So tiny. The next one, and see, like, what's it, like? I just don't get the, any of this. I'm just not understanding it. I'm not understanding what's going on here, because the next one here in the Guinness Book of World Records is the smallest service dog. I know. What? Which is a, a teacup long-haired Chihuahua by the name of Cupcake. <laughs> you see, I cupcake? see Cupcake. I so at cupcake. just 6.25 inches tall, the, t the t cupcake reigns supreme as the world's smallest service and therapy dog. From New Jersey. From New Jersey. <laughs> and the owner says that the first time she saw Cupcake's face, she knew that she had to be a service dog and therapy dog. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> 
And despite her sugary like sweet name, Cupcake loves eating vegetables. Way to go, Good Cupcake. For you, Cupcake. No sugars. Holy smokes. All right. This one here, tallest dog ever, which if you had to guess what mm-hmm. breed it was, it's a no-brainer. It's a Great Dane. It's a Great it's Dane a great named Dane. Zeus. You see that? Oh, yeah. From the United I States of America, Zeus is a Great Dane who measured 44 inches in height. So 3.7 feet. I didn't do that calculation. It was written out for me. <laughs> 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 uh, when standing oh. on his hind legs, he stretches 7 feet and 4 inches tall. That's wow. a tall doggy. I don't know why I want a large breed so bad, but I just do. I want a big Zeus. I want a. Oh my God. Yes. He's he's very tall. tall. Like he's way taller than the couch. He's like, he's standing in front of a fireplace mantle and he's like the same height as like the fireplace mantle. (laughs) Do the limbo. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. He can drink from the tap. He doesn't even have to drink. Yeah, we just train him to turn on the tap and drink and turn it off when he's done. Oh my God. He's so big. He's so, he looks so skinny. And Zeus passed away in September of 2014 at just five years old. See, they don't live that long. That's the thing Aww. about the large breed of roos. Yeah. <sighs> not super long life spawns. They just do not. They just do not. No. Um, he's very, oh, very he's cute. So, cute. so the next one takes us to the tallest dog living, which is 3.4 feet. And it's Freddy. And guess what Freddy is? A Great Dane. A Great Dane. <laughs> He's a big hunk of love, they say. He was crowned Aww. the world's tallest on September 13, 2016. And he was the rent of the litter as a puppy. Oh. But no, uh, no. now has uh, got the Guinness Book of World Records. You know? Huh. You know? You know? You know? You know? <laughs> um, all right, let me find... Oh, yeah, this was... Oh, yeah, so this was another site that I found. So now we're getting into the weird ones. So, uh, one of the weird ones... <laughs> I just found one. Oh, yeah, so this was fastest time to pop 100 balloons <laughs> by a dog. Like, again, like, so random. Who's like, I'm going to get my dog... I know. <laughs> Who tries that? I'm going to get my dog to do something that no... No other dog has done, so he'll be so the best. So this one goes to a Canadian whip it. <laughs> it's crazy. I think she just said, like, his name's Toby. And she practiced by filling up a pool with balloons so that Toby could just, like, entertain the neighbors by popping these balloons. That, that doesn't sound like that would, I would be entertained by that. I would be like, make it stop. <laughs> stop all the balloon popping. No. How many balloons? That's just so weird. See, I see Twinkie, a Jack Russell Terrier. Previously had had the record for this. But oh. then um, Toby pulled into the lead with 28.22 seconds, breaking 100 balloons. That's a lot of balloons. I guess that's yeah. pretty impressive. But again, like, how many other, like... Were these people reading the Guinness Book of World Records and they're like, I'm going to take my dog and I'm going to break that balloon popping record. <laughs> like, it just seems so <laughs> random. Anyways, so the next one we already talked about. It was Miss Purin the Beagle who can catch all the balls by hand. 14 balls in one minute. So the next one is the fastest 100 meter with a can balanced on a head by a dog. Again, so particular. <laughs> Yeah, like just so crazy. So this dog's name is Sweet Pea. It's an Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix, and was trained to balance a soda can on her head while walking. So she holds the record for fastest hundred meter with a can on her head at two minutes and fifty five seconds. Good Way job, to go, Sweet, Sweet Pea. Pea! Um, there's another one here. These are just so strange and random. Fastest ten meter on a walking globe by a dog. So this is Sailor, a poodle. Sailor the poodle was uh, trained by their owner and can do 10 meters walking like on like rolling on a ball 
at 33.22 seconds. Wow. Along with the fastest 10 meter on a walking globe going backwards at 17.06 seconds. How come going backwards is so much faster? Why hmm. is it so much faster going backwards? I don't know. Maybe it's easier for them. Know. Well, we'll hey, sailor. <laughs> hey, sailor. Oh my God, do I know what I would do? I would make that like a show and make the ball look like a moon and then call him Sailor Moon. <laughs> sailor <gasps> Moonwalker. Ooh. 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 America's got talent. Here when he's we going come. backwards. <laughs> um, this one I thought was pretty cute and I'd be curious to look it up, which I haven't yet. But um, it was the animal most photographed with celebrities. So um, Lucky Diamond, the rescued Maltese, started uh, her road by getting her photo taken with Hugh Grant. And then after that, her owner had uh, gotten 363 celebrities photographed with her dog, including Kanye West, Bill Clinton, Snoop Dogg, of course, and Kristen Stewart. I feel like people like love dogs. So if you're like, I don't want a photo with you, but can you take a photo with my dog? They'll probably be like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Super cute dog. People love yeah. dogs. So I'd, I'd be curious to see some of those. But sadly, uh, Lucky Diamond passed away at the age of 15. But her photographs will live on as a memorial to how loved she was. Mm. So um, the next is... <laughs> You know, because like this, these were on my goal lists. <laughs> Longest human tunnel traveled through by a d skateboarding dog. <laughs> <laughs> so random. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing because it's just so random. So Otto, the bulldog from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bulldog. He broke this record in 2017 by riding under 33 people. Oh, no, his name's not Otto. Excuse me. That was the, the former record holder of. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, Dei Chen, a dog in Japan, broke uh, Otto's record in 2017 by riding under 33 people. Whereas before Otto, the previous uh, <laughs> title holder, only did 30 humans. So I guess that everybody's standing with their wow. legs spread and the dog goes underneath with the skateboard. I find it's always bulldogs on a skateboard. Do you notice that? Like, I've never seen... Yes. It's because their center of gravity yeah. is so low. I guess. <laughs> they're eh? so wide. But, like, they're always on, like... It's always them on the surfboards. <laughs> Do you see... Do you see Zeus <laughs> on a skateboard? <laughs> It'd have to be a long board. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> all right um this one i found impressive now see this is something i can get with fastest crossing of a tightrope by a dog see like that's that's cool like you get performing mm. dogs they're doing different tricks we're talking dog tricks yeah. that's a pretty impressive trick yeah because i don't know if i could walk that's across impressive. a tightrope <laughs> 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 so ozzy the border collie and australian kelpie mix Needs a lot of mental and physical stimulation to stay happy. So his woman put him to the test by teaching him how to walk the tightrope. So um, his Ooh. record for crossing the tightrope is 18.22 seconds, but it doesn't say how long it is. How do you teach a dog that? I don't That's know, crazy. but like... Are they going sideways? Yeah, so there's, there's a video <laughs> here going? of him crossing and it's, and it's like, yeah, sideways. Like they're not walking straight on. They're sort of like... Yeah, sideways on the rope. Okay. Like they, they, they're not walking on it like humans would, like one foot on front of the other. It, okay. So I would. It's like a shuffle. Yep. It's like, well, it's very interesting to watch. Oh my goodness. It's weird. It's almost like a, like a monkey crawl. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, when babies do that, like with one arm and then like the rest comes along afterwards, it's like, the, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So they sort of like yeah. one arm it. Um, are you ready for this next weird one? Got another weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Most bottles recycled by a dog. <laughs> oh yeah. And his I name's that Tubby. One. That's that's my favorite part. Crazy. Of it. His name's Tubby. Oh Tubbs. Tubby. Tub Tubbs. <laughs> Tubbs took twenty six thousand plastic bottles over several years, and he picks up the bottles on his daily walks and crushes them and gives them to his mom. 
Tubbs, <laughs> you my man. I hope I hope she like has like Yes, he would fit in with he would. family right now. <laughs> he wouldn't bark with the windows open. He'd be like, I understand this is for a greater cause. <laughs> I'm not going to give my humans a hard time. <laughs> um, this one, I kind of want to watch the video, but I don't want to make a ton of noise here or whatever. But the next one is a fastest 30 meter on a scooter by a dog. Yes, yeah, do you see that? that? Norman, the scooter dog. <laughs> <laughs> Norman. There's Aww. somebody that I work with that has a Weimaraner named Norman, which I think is an amazing name for a dog. Aww. So he earned yeah. his title by holding the world record for fastest 30 meter on a scooter at 20.77 seconds. That's pretty crazy. And he's standing up like he's got his paws on the handles like a human and he's yeah. pushing it. That's just crazy. He looks floofy. That's just so crazy. I find that impressive when they teach them to use like scooters and stuff like that. And even the bulldogs like on the skateboards, I find pretty impressive, especially when they (laughs) push. Imagine taking your dog on a walk and your dog's (laughs) on a scooter. (laughs) I'm sure you'd be the talk of the town. You you get more than one dude stopping (laughs) you in the street asking you about what you're doing with your dog. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, why did you teach your dog how to ride a scooter? I'm like, because people would walk by and they wouldn't smile. Oh my goodness. (laughs) So the next one is longest wave surfed by a dog in the open water. And Mm -hmm. so she was um, a surfer and the dog swam up to her and she put her dog on the board and then he just like stood up and the rest was history. Um, Just a natural. natural. And it doesn't even say what kind of dog it is. Oh, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, Abby is the name of the dog and it looks like it's like a mix but sort of like shepherd short hair or something next. But mm. anyways, um, world's record for longest wave surf by a dog at 107.2 meters. Holy smokes. That's crazy. Wow. That's a kilometer. <laughs> Just, kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. So bad. I'll, I'll know next time to bring a calculator <laughs> to the show. Um, that's pretty impressive. Again, the surfing dogs, like the the when they can do stuff like that, yeah. that's like pretty impressive. So this next one, I also find very crazy. So there's this person. The so the human is um, uh, a missionary to stop poachers, like in Africa. So they go by like airplane and then like um, mm. skydive into areas where poaching is happening. I guess. So this is Arrow, who's a G Shep. Um, Went with his human and was never afraid in the aircraft, especially with the wind and the open like doors and stuff like that. So um, he decided to take his doggo with him. And so Arrow holds the record for world's first skydiving anti-poaching dog. (laughs) A little (laughs) random, but pretty impressive. I haven't seen too many skydiving. Was was there somebody who went skydiving with a cat once? Je oh. sais pas. I feel like the cat would well, be Well, I feel like the dog would be terrified too. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I'd uh, be terrified. Yes, I have gone skydiving once and I was terrified. It is easily one of the most terrifying things you can do. Yeah. I will never go skydiving. No? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. No. Once you actually do the jumping out of the plane part, I think that's it for like weird Guinness Book of World Records. So I would need a diaper. (laughs) I wonder if the doggo needed a diaper too. That I see one that's kind of funny. Fastest dog on two paws. Hmm. It's (laughs) Jif. 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 It's kind of a weird Jif. J I F F. Oh, Jeff, like in a Jeff. Is he walking on two paws in a Jeff? Which He's two a paws? Pomeranian, the famous Hollywood. Oh, the back paws. He can walk ten meters on his oh, hind my legs. Oh goodness! And so hind legs six point fifty six seconds for ten meters, and the vice. <laughs> The, fi- the feist is five meters. <laughs> oh my the goodness! Front paws, 
7. I was going to say because some of them seconds. can do the front paws too. Mm-hmm. He had a starring role in pop star Katy Perry's music video, Dark Oh, Horse. well, I am definitely going to go watch mm. that music video now. <laughs> <laughs> a little Pomeranian. Coming at you like a dark horse. Jif. Are you ready for, ready for? <laughs> He's walking on his hind legs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Zeus Jif. needs to be in the Dark Horse video. Because <laughs> he's a Dark Horse. Yeah. Or was he is. Zeus the one that passed away? I forget now. So cute. Anyways, I yeah. always, I can remember being like a young child and getting the Guinness Book of World Records and reading through it, just finding it like so fascinating. Like, you know, people making like world's biggest pies or the biggest pizza and like the measurements of it all and then you just wonder like how they did it and stuff like that and i don't remember a lot of like the animal ones yeah but the guinness book of world records has always been a a weird fascinating place <laughs> i find <laughs> so i thought <laughs> let's see what doggos are in there and we found them yeah yeah some weird probably, things probably not some, even all of them some cool things yeah what what uh what is Ralph gonna get into the Guinness Book of World Records for? <laughs> Worst teenage behavior. Worst teenage behavior. The um, how do you say that? The number of times a dog can jump on a dining room table <laughs> in one minute. <laughs> uh, the amount of baseboard Eden and <laughs> under five minutes. Faster than a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ralph Aroni. Well, we'll get there. Is that a wrap for today? That's a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Go and try weird things with your dogs, folks. <laughs> yeah. You never know. It may land you in the Guinness Book of World Records. <gasps> I'm going to try to think of something. Oh, d big time. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in next week on Let's, Let's Boop Snoots. Boop. Bye. <laughs>